Shift path is a useful tool that allows us to restore previous information in our data structure. But how do we use it? Let's call, for example, a rectangle component and let's move it on the Z direction in order to create a sort of a tower. So let's use the move component. And what this component needs, uh, it's basically a geometry and the motion and the motion is just a vector. We can either uh, go to vector and select here or double click on the canvas. And like now I'm just using the unity Z direction. So let's move uh, this geometry of a factor of uh, not just one, let's use uh, a series of number. So we will move it in uh, multiple uh, steps. So right now we have these 10 geometries. And if we see the data information is basically a simple list with 10 different values. But let's use also a, another component called partition list because I want to divide this list in two different parts, providing a specific size. So let's right click here and set an integer of, let's say three and seven, since I know there are 10 values inside my list. And now, as you can see, this one is structured in two different lists with three values in the first one and seven in the second one. And let's also use a graph tree in order to make it more complex. So. This graph tree is actually taking all the information inside my lists and put them in a single uh, list for each one. So as you can see, we have one single element in each single list. So let's, uh, let's use also a component called loft. And what this loft do is taking all the geometries and creating a surface between those curves so let's use these rectangles and as you can see right now he's basically creating a surface uh, between these curves but if I plug the second one you see that there are two different lists so it works differently because if we connect it you can see that these two different lists uh, works uh, independently so the first three rectangles create a loft and the other seven create a different loft what if I use this graph tree? This graph tree actually doesn't loft anything because the lists have one single element. So the curves are just single and it doesn't loft uh, anything because it needs two curves at least to loft between them. And these two curves needs to be in the same path. So what if I have this graph tree and I want to go back to the previous information, let's say this one with three paths while I'm here on the fourth one, let's use the shift path component. And what this shift path component do is taking the data tree and offset the information by, let's say one, two, three, or either minus one, minus two, minus three. And what this minus one by default do is taking the last path and basically delete it. So we will have the previous path that is actually this one. So if we connect this here, we can see that this path right now is offset by minus one. So I went back to the previous data tree information. And if I connect this one here to my curves, I have now this uh, loft that I had before. But this is not actually the grafted one, is the shifted path one. So let's use just a, a slider to better see what's going on. We have minus one. Let's connect here minus one. If I put it on zero, as you can see, we have just uh, the grafted list. But if we put minus one, we go back to the previous one. And then if I put minus two, I go back to the first one that had only two different paths. So if I go back to minus two, now I have my loft of all the geometries that were inside my first component. So this is very useful because whenever you need to go back to your previous information in the data tree, it's easier just to put uh, a, let's say an offset to go back because most of the time there are different components that increase the 
number of paths inside your data tree and you need to go back to the previous one. So this is very helpful and very useful. And this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you have any doubt, as always, leave a comment below and we'll see in the next tutorial.